Yeah, what you doing? We need to make a brain building broadcast. Yeah, we need to make brain building broadcast. What's a brain building broadcast? All right, let's put the camera over here. Hey, all I see is our feet. This doesn't look right. Yeah, no, that's not right. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we, we need a tripod. Yeah, we need a tripod. A tripod? What's a tripod? Yeah, what's a tripod? This is a tripod. We, we're going to make one of these. We can, we can make a tripod. It looks like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, okay, now give me, give me, give me the measuring stick. Give me I the measuring stick. stick. Thank you, thank you. Wait, 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 I need the stick. I gotta measure on the stick, okay? Here's your stick. Oh, thank I got you. Your stick. Wait, wait, no, I need both of them. Give me both of them. I need this Here one and go. this one. Okay, so I'm gonna measure. Okay, I'm gonna mark. All right, and, and now I need the saw. I need the saw now. Okay? I got your saw. So I need right the here. saw. All right, thank you. Measure twice and cut once. That's what my dad always told me. How we did. I think my leg's the best. Let's get familiar with measurement tools you will see in science lab. In science lab, one of the tools you'll be using is a meter stick. When using the meter stick, make sure that you're always lining up to start at zero. In science class, we'll be using the metric system. You always want to make sure that you choose the right units of measure. In this case, we'll be using centimeters. And the bird, in this case, is 26.7 centimeters. In order to find the mass of an object, we need to use a balance scale. To use this scale is a triple beam balance. To use it, we must have all of the weights slid to the zero. Now we place our object that we want to find the mass of on the pan. We move the first counterweight out until it falls. We know from that that the mass of this object is under 100 grams. Therefore, we move it back to zero. Then we use the tens weight and move it out until the needle falls. This tells us our object has a mass that is less than 50, so we move it back to the 40, making sure it settles in the mark. Then we use the 1's counterweight. We move it out until the scale balances at 0. To know the mass of our object, we then need to add the numbers on all three counterweights. 0 plus 40 plus 6.2. Our total mass is 46.2. Using an electronic balance scale can be faster and easier. Once the scale is on, it is important not to place the object onto it until the numbers have read zero. If the numbers are not reading zero, you can press the tear key to make it go back to zero. It's also important to make sure that the scale is labeled in grams. If it is not, the unit key can be used to change to the correct unit that is necessary. When the scale reads zero and is labeled in grams, it is okay to put the object on the scale.
This scale reads 47.25 grams. You might want to find the volume of an irregularly shaped object, like this plastic goldfish. I can't necessarily measure it and then calculate its volume geometrically, because it has so many odd angles and curves. The method you have to use is called volume through displacement. Displacement means to move something. So, you'll need a graduated cylinder with some water. The water here has been dyed so you can see it better. Currently, the level of the water is 20 milliliters. I'm going to mark this so you can see it. So here is the original water level. When you do volume through displacement, you put the oddly shaped object into the graduated cylinder, noting the original level of the water, which is 20 milliliters. You can see that when you put the object inside, it pushes some of the water up or displaces the water. Here is a new water level. Originally, the water level was 20 milliliters. Now the water is 22 milliliters. 22 milliliters minus 20 milliliters is the volume of the object inside the water. So this amount, or this 2 milliliters, is the volume of the goldfish. We finished the brain building broadcast! Hooray! Hooray! High five! Ah! Oh! oh.